And welcome back. We we're ready to go. Map number one, I told you we would come back and get started. And we have Murray State versus, again, Fanshawe. That's what we're going to go with if somebody corrects me in the chat. Uh, that'd be great. We'll call them the Falcons. Falcons versus Ra <laughs> Racers. And right away, the opening goal, it's Jax coming out on the Murray State side. Just right off a of kickoff, not really sure what even happened yet. Boxes just dinking it back. And Murray State ready on the rebound immediately. And, uh, you know, if you're a Racers fan, that's the kind of start you want to see. We haven't even started talking about the players. We've got Crispy Plays, Hunter, and Jax all playing on the Murray State side, while Fanshawe, the Falcons, are deploying boxes, sustain, and dungeon as well. And now with that opening goal out of the way, let's see what that does for the pace for the rest of the game. Jax in the air. The net is open again, and they fire it in. Two to nothing. A strong start again for the Racers. But... You know, game number one, this is a best of five. Can't get too far ahead of ourselves. We saw what happened last week with Murray State starting off so strong. Game number one, continuing a little bit of the dominance in the game number two, and then the reverse sweep. So um, I know Crispy plays in, in the team captain's chats on, on Discord. He's been talking about how they've been working hard to really capitalize on those moments of finishing. And you can see it's already paying off a little bit. Another shot just off the side bar. And now Jack's keeping it alive. Box is trying to play it out. But still, the rotation is there in the midfield. And a good save from Sustain. As Murray State looks to take it to 3 and 0. But here's the dribble. Sustain over the top, just barely missing. He had that play ready to go. But unfortunately, uh, excuse me for Fanshaw, not able to finish. But they have kept up the effort and off the crossbar again. And uh, perhaps, you know, the Falcons. Maybe also needing to work on that finishing a little bit tonight, at least. So far, not able to find the net. Murray State once again in the way by Jax. Box is centering, sustain in the air, back to the other side. Completely losing control. Jax can go forward here, but there is a man in the net. One on his left side. He's trying to pass it over. Dungeon intercepts. Now Crispy will retreat. Try to dribble this ball out of harm's way. He's able to do so for the time being. Oh, and what a little boost through the air to keep that alive. Can he continue forward here? He is in the air, shooting it down, and unfortunately, oh, just so close on that one again. Murray State, strong start here. Uh, game number one, but as we said a minute ago, I mean, it, it, this is a best of five. It's, it's not a sprint. It's a little bit of a marathon in terms of Rocket League time. You do have to be consistent. And last week, Murray State not able to do so. And, you know, strong starts seem to be the story of the semester. All of our teams, Overwatch, did that as well. Unfortunately, they were reverse swept. Valorant uh, last night also a very strong start and able to actually finish that for the uh, W. But the Rocket League team looking to take their first W in the NECC this year, fall 2021. New changes for the players and glad to have Rocket League back. Crispy plays playing it forward. Sustain now with the dribble has a little bit of time here. Crispy's right there for the surprise demo. Surprised nobody called that out. His box is now. Somehow manages to just uh, catch Jax completely unaware there and taking that ball forward. Now the rotation defensive-wise is in for the Falcons. Sustain is able to push it forward. Now they can transition to attack. Jax has to make something happen quick. Dungeon was in the way, but Murray State still able to retain possession. Now Crispy with the pass over to Jax. It is on the net. And sustain, I'm not sure if he needed to be there, but he was there in case they needed it. Good save side of the Falcons. The ball going in and just stopped at the corner by Crispy. Oh my gosh, and Box is unable to finish on that. That is going to be disappointing after such a fine shot on the side of the Falcons to not finish it up, but stunning save by Crispy, who's now on the offensive side and needing to retreat as they bring it forward. Hunter, though, he's pushing forward, has the boost, might be able to make something happen. It's falling 90 degrees down to Jax. Now it's loose in the center of the net and Dungeon able to get there first. Crispy rotating back and Hunter and Crispy. Now Jax as well, all there to get that ball clear, but sustain. Perhaps the demo should have been in a little bit earlier. Sustain the net a little bit open. Jax is the only one there and able to keep it out. Might have been hitting the crossbar, but Murray State not wanting to take the chance. Now Dungeon trying to keep it alive in midfield, but Crispy's there for the tap down. Ooh, Murray State coming close several times. You know the stats starting to show that a little bit. Uh, two shots on the side. Murray State for everybody except for Hunter, who has three. But a lot of shots on the Falcon side as well. And Murray State, you know, Crispy, two saves to his name. And Jack's coming up big. Unfortunately, the game doesn't always credit those saves that are so important. Jack's getting a shot there, and a dungeon is credited with that save. That ball is loose. Something could happen here, but no. Murray State not able to retain possession. 2 0, though. 
with under a minute to go at this point murray state if they score another one that's pretty much going to make it over but the ball just completely oh my god Jax, as the ball was loose jack's coming in and saving it once more for the racers and you can tell hunter just in the net just you know thanking his teammate for saving that one as now 30 seconds are counting down on the clock Murray State need that third goal because hit 30 seconds in Rocket League time. Anything could happen. Dungeon is able to block it and keep the Falcons' hopes alive. Can Murray State provide that killing blow here? 13 seconds remaining. It's almost out of time here. 10 seconds at this point. Murray State is going to take map or excuse me round number one in this best of five. Two to nothing is the score line. We'll wait for that ball to drop actually before I comment on that. Yeah, there you go. Good games from both teams, and Murray State, once again, a strong start, similar to last week. Now can they keep the momentum going? Two goals for Jax and uh, none on the side of the Falcons, and look at the saves. Two apiece for Jax and Crispy. Tons of shots on the side of Murray State, but also you've got to give the Falcons credit. Four shots alone from Dungeon, and both teams just really putting up an offensive performance, and Murray State was able to find those two critical goals give them the victory in map number one so now we'll move on game number two and uh you know like last time can murray state keep this momentum can they keep going forward uh that will remain to be seen you know and it is like we said earlier a, a talking point on this team i know it's something they've been working on so uh and of course we can't you know just completely forget about the first match jitters of course so uh that you know maybe they're a little more relaxed and and able to play now, but it should be with these numbers that we're seeing in game number one. We're already having this amount of shots. I mean, I think game number two, game number three is going to be spicy as well. And here we go once more into round number two. And if you are just tuning in, uh, go back and, you know, well, finish the broadcast first, but then go back and watch the VOD. You know, get us more views, but uh, Murray State up one to nothing. This is the NACC Rocket League uh, competition. Murray State University versus the Fanshawe Falcons. Murray State up one to nothing. Drop us a follow if you're new and if you enjoy what you're seeing. Share the love in chat. Kick off. Sustain. Playing it down to Jax, who's able to dink it off to the left-hand side. The ball just kind of falling quicker than anybody anticipated. And now that puts Murray State in an awkward position. Boxes keeping up the pressure, trying for the tap forward there, but stay able to get there now dungeon on the wall hunter in his path oh, this could be dangerous they're gonna have to time that just right and fortunately for the falcons they're able to do so crispy colliding with dungeon and causing the ball to go straight up and that was a brilliant hit from boxes but stopped by crispy once more the ball just falling loose in the midfield and let's see where the falcons can take it i'm i'm seeing i mean the ball's just loose in the center <laughs> I don't know if this was just on my end. I, I saw a latency warning, and I'm not sure what happened here. And next thing I know, the, the net is empty here. Dungeon just completely left open. Sorry there. I was caught a little unaware. That might have been just on my end, but uh, a little strange there. Okay, one goal for Fanshawe. Four minutes on the clock, just over four minutes. Murray State on the back foot, and this is not the start you wanted. If you're a racer fan, boxes off the wall, centered in to the field Jax is able to take it dungeon rising up and meeting it but no boost to speak of he has just enough to tap it off of his nose and Hunter's going to take it forward but sustain is there just unfortunately missing it and almost a catastrophe on the side of the Falcons almost an own goal and now Jax trying to center it over to Crispy he's able to do so but Crispy unable to get that shot now he will just a simple little lob and Jax trying to redirect it not able to do so Hunter keeping it alive offensively for the racers is Jax retreats. Now Crispy in midfield has to do the same. Center ball coming to Dungeon, but unable to be redirected. He's there for the rebound. Off the wall, and him and Jax both just posturing, trying to make the first move. Jax is able to stop it. Good defensive work from him yet again. And before he can play a forward, Boxes is stopping the dribble. Now the ball just loose right in the front, just gliding over, and no end product. The Falcons on that one, but... This allows Murray State to go on the offensive. Now nobody's in the net. Murray State has to get a hold of this. He's in the air, and Hunter scores. Brilliant play from the Racers. One to one. And red like a book off the top of Jackson. Hunter was there. Right back in the game. One to one. Three minutes to go. 
That's the kind of mental fortitude you need to come back and tie this up, and now they have to keep it going forward here. Box is a lot of boost just lurking in the middle. Now in the back, Hunter is going to clear it, but Box is weighted perfectly, and he's there. Now it's centered back up. Dungeon is in the air. He's going to be the one to take it. It's off. <laughs> just the wheel. Depending on that crossbar, Jackson Hunter 2v1 on that side of the field, but he was sustained a, a tricky little move there. Jack's not in a rush to get that out. And uh, fortunately for, for Jax, they, they missed the ball there. Sustain. Gonna have to sustain this play for a little longer, huh? Let's get some puns in. Pun love in the chat, yeah? Okay, sorry everybody. It's one to one. What do you want from me? We need some more goals. Jax and Crispy back on the defensive effort. Dungeon charging forward. Sustain is keeping it forward though for the Falcons, but nobody's there to help. Not enough boost. And Boxes is there, but just too little too late. Now Mary State on the counter. There's Jax going in the air and using the corner to rebound it, but you know, in a similar fashion. Oh, that's that's nasty for Murray State. That's unfortunate. You can see the idea. Trying to maybe redirect it here in Dungeon just has all of the space he needs to just lob it across the field and get that second goal. Up two to one. Oh, and off a kickoff right away. Sustain is going to have to clear that out. I see almost able to get to that. The ball just drifting in the middle field. Hunter has to really be composed there, and he's able to hit it 90 degrees up, and it's loose in front of the net again. Oh, Jax, Murray State breathing a, a big sigh of relief, but not for long because the Falcons keeping the pressure up. Now Crispy on the wall is rotating around, still dribbling in the air just off the corner. Oh, no. Just a little bit of an angle, and he would have had a free hit there. It was almost very lucky there. Hunter trying to backflip into that ball off of the wall there, but unfortunately not able to do so. Sustain. Uh, just kind of playing with the ball for to or excuse me, a little bit more boost than that left, and just able to make a little bit of value out of it. Now Jack's in the air, but somebody has to be there to help him, because Dungeon just had to stand, stand still and take it. Jax returns. He clears it forward, but it's just loose again, and thankfully Crispy is there. Murray State leaving that goal open fairly often in the last 30 seconds to a minute. They have to be a little bit quicker. Fortunately, they have been able to save a good redirect from Dungeon, but not enough on it. 50 seconds remaining. Murray State has to clear it forward and get a goal here. As the pressure continues to mount, sustain just wide of the net. And even though, you know, these aren't super threatening shots at the moment, you know, they did just have a couple and every shot, even if it's not, you know, super incisive or or whatever, it's going to be more pressure for the Racers. They have to deal with two bodies committed forward. Now Bones is in the air. The net is wide open. The Racers have to hurry back. Two to one is about to be three to one. Dungeon scores. And that is unfortunate. The Falcons up three to one. And that's what happens. You commit bodies forward and you just get caught on the counter. 24 seconds remaining. Both teams heading for that kickoff ball. Just lost in the middle. Off of the wall now, sustain. Trying to get it clear their hunter. Also trying to make something happen. 10 seconds remaining with, uh, with the way these teams are playing. This might just be an extra goal here. A hunter able to keep it out for the pride, but Murray State's gonna take the L three to one. Falcons, what a performance from them, what a comeback, and Murray State once again after a strong start, just letting it slip, this time in game two, not game three, Dungeon with three goals, four shots, look at that shot accuracy, that is incredible, and two shots apiece for sustain, Boxes has three, Murray State, not a lot offensively, one goal from two shots from Hunter, plenty of saves though, to be honest with you, and it looks like we're going to take a quick break we are having an issue with the server here a little bit of latency right at the end so stay tuned we will be right back
And welcome back, everybody, to the Murray State University Esports Twitch stream. It's Woogie here again. Quick technical break there. A little bit of an issue with the server. Some high ping seen at the end of that game. And we're back, ready to go for game number three. Tied one-to-one -one here. The Falcons versus the Racers sustain right off of the kickoff. Off the backboard, hitting it off the car as well. Murray State with a risky clearance, but again on the rebound. It's Dungeon once more. And the period at the end of his name is perfect because... Whenever he comes in and shoots the ball like that, it's just a period right at the end. Just a punctuation mark on the way he is playing. I mean, we saw the, the shot accuracy, four shots, three goals last game, all from Dungeon. Incredible work. But can Murray State shut that down? They need to identify that strong player and figure out a way of dealing with it. Jax is trying to clear it out. He is very fortunate. Box is just careening towards the ball and able to flip it out of his way. Now Murray State on the offense here. But Dungeon, oh, he's going to get fortunate. The ball just missed by Murray State. He's there and he has enough boost and it's in. Dungeon right in the corner. Oh, and again, catastrophe for Murray State. Hunter missing wildly. Jax does try to get there, but just not enough. And Dungeon, if he had just a little less boost, that might have been a different story. It was a perfect storm for the Falcons. But Murray State, I mean, four minutes if you're trying to look on the positive. Four minutes, you've scored several on this team before. You've got to get it, this negativity out of your head and start focusing on the game at hand. Jax might be doing it here. He's all on his own. Ford Crispy is there, but not in the right position to redirect it goalward. Now Hunter from the midfield tries to get to it, but not enough boost to really make a difference there. He dives out of it, gets the demo. Might be useful. Crispy off the wall, but... Two teammates in retreat, lobbed forward. Hunter is there. And an acrobatic save. As now Murray State continues to try and clear it out. And I like the way that you're seeing the Falcons from Fanshawe there. Um, you know, they're setting up these balls on the lob. They're getting a little bit of a rebound. And then almost, I mean, like a pack of Falcons, swooping in all for the rebound at once. And it's uh, really incredible stuff to see. It's a real pattern of play uh, that they've developed here on this team. And there it is again, sustained once more. Bringing the ball in. There's the shot. There's the rebound. Dungeon, maybe he was trying to shoot it. But there, once more, another rebound, another goal. And fighting like a pack of Falcons. And meanwhile, the Racers are being put out to pasture here, unfortunately. Three to nothing. Plenty of time in Rocket League to catch up. Now, this is not an insurmountable lead at all with three minutes remaining. But if you look at the way they're playing, if you look at the stats, right now, Murray State is in a lot of trouble. Crispy not able to move that forward. Dungeon is in the air. Somebody should be there from the racers to go ahead and clear that, and they're able to do so. But the transition is not able to happen as the pressure once more it comes from the Falcons. And Murray State unable to cope now. Dipped backwards by Dungeon. A little bit of a mishit there. Pressure kept on by Hunter, but a clearance on the side of the Falcons keeps them in it. Now Box is centered over. Oh, sustain. He tried a cheeky little hit, but I will do so. Dungeon again. Look at the accuracy from that man. Four to nothing. Three from Dungeon and Hunter. Poor Hunter. He's just trying to get the ball out. <laughs> At that point, all you care about is clearing that ball. And here's the problem. You're clearing the ball into the path of Dungeon. And he is everywhere on this map right now. Hunter now dribbling and not able to keep it. Dungeon just swooping in from behind. There's the accidental demo. As Hunter tries to come to the other side as well. Jack's taking it and Murray State having a few more occasions where they're running into each other and getting a little cluttered. I think the frustration is really seeping in for the racers. They've got to get it under control as Crispy is on the wall moving forward. Dungeon once more. In the path of the ball sustained now, dropping it straight down. That would be a perfect opportunity for a rebound. Crispy dinking it out. Now here it comes again off the wall. It's going to be Boxes dinking it down. Jacks read it well. He's able to get it out for a moment for the racers. But look at that immediately. Once more, the Falcons swarming on the play. Here's Boxes again. Oof. Race State clearing it forward once more. And the way they're playing, not only is it effective with their goal scoring, Dungeon with a rare miss, but... It's also effective at just 
completely disrupting the way Murray State wants to play, and they're trying to get the ball out and maintain control of it, and they're just swarming all off the crossbar. Dungeon Kitty finish. A near, near hit on that one, but completely disrupting. There it is again. There's the aggression. Murray State, what can they do with that? They've got to get a demo in. They've got to take somebody out, or they've got to figure out maybe a different pattern of passing the ball around and rotating. But right now, just uh, kind of playing all around the map. And just, uh, I mean, what can you do about Dungeon? It's it's such a an X factor on this Falcons team. There he is again, but just trying to take it wide this time. Rolling down into the path of Jax. He's going to go forward. Two players rising up. Maybe accidental. Maybe trying to confuse. Jax now. Ball slightly centered. Crispy tries to rush that way. Jax is there. Can he redirect? He does, but not enough power. 37 seconds, and Murray State at this point fighting for pride. There's a demo. Crispy's angry, and he's got a double demo, but look where the ball is. It's not where it needs to be for a demolition like that. Sustain with the dribble. Right into the path of Crispy. Dungeon is there on the other side now. The ball, though, still there. Jax can score, and he does. The ball headed for the net, and the clearance too little too late. Dungeon right in the path of it, and brilliant rebound here. Hunter off of the crossbar, and Jax is there as well. And by that point, it was too late. It's one on the board. Under 20 seconds remaining, it would be an absolute miracle for a comeback at this point. I would I would just have to, to quit the broadcast at that point. But, you know, for your pride, for your ego, you get that one, maybe two goals here at the very end and shake off a little bit of the, the bad vibes. This is going to be a victory and put... Fenshaw Falcons up two to nothing, or two to one, excuse me, over the Racers. Four to one scoreline, seemingly. The ball falls here, and that will be the scoreline. So another one for the Falcons. Strong uh, consistency here from this team. Dungeons once more. Another three goals, four shots situation for Dungeon. Sustain with a goal as well. Restate, just not enough saves and not enough offensive a threat. And now it's two to one at this point. Fanshawe knows all they need is one more victory, and they can go ahead and walk away as the winners tonight. But if Murray State ties it up, uh, that could lead to an interesting game five. As we wait for the lobby here, if you are, again, if you're new, uh, go ahead and scroll down, find out a little bit about us. Uh, my name is Woogie. I, I cast here pretty often. Um, Overwatch, Rocket League, uh, Counter-Strike, Valorant. Come check us out. Uh, Flav Filth running the production today. Sometimes cast with me on things like Valorant and Overwatch. And uh, you can go back and watch some of those VODs right here on our Twitch channel. You can also find links to our social media, Twitter, Instagram, uh, all that stuff. You can check out our website as well. And we have links for the Discord server. So if you are a member of Racer Nation and you want to help support the esports team, go ahead and join us we would love to have you on the server or if you're just a fan of the stream or us in general you could do that as well and uh we <laughs> we, we might be having an issue here uh somebody said my bad and, and that might be about the uh the map here i don't i don't know what the map pull is on the on the necc but i think this is okay uh, we're getting ready to start this round here Dungeon immediately off a kickoff off the crossbar. Oh my goodness. The pace is there immediately for the Fanshawe Falcons. Murray State has to uh, come to grips with that pretty early. Now Crispy unable to get an end product dungeon. The goal is open with all of the boost that he needs. And of course it's going to happen. Dungeon once more with the plays. Look at this. Need, I, need he say more? Dungeon, period. Absolutely just putting on an exhibition match right here in front of you all tonight. Murray State has to find a way to cope, and there it is again. That, that goal it wasn't open for very long, but it's long enough for that to be a threat. And now, how do you turn this into a meaningful offensive end product here? Crispy trying to make it work. Boxes right in the way. I know we're talking about Dungeon a lot, but the defensive effort is there as well for the Falcons. Racers unable to break them down yet. You don't want to start this one to nothing. It's just going to make it that much harder, but four minutes to go. Anything could happen. Race State playing to stay in this round or in this uh, match tonight. 
It's best of five. And the NECC box is just getting Crispy a little bit out of the way. But still able to play it forward. They're able to return it, though, the Falcons. And now I don't think they expected Dungeon to fly in like that. And there's the second person as well. The third sustain almost coming in for the shot, but backing out. Brace just get a brief moment to recalculate. Look at that rotation from Jax. Good play. Now he's on the defense as well with Crispy. They're going to read it and push it forward in the middle off of the side. Boxes is there. Plenty of boost. Oh, but Murray State almost able to direct it goalwards and just flying, lobbing towards the goal. Murray State did have to get in the path of that Crispy. Ooh, he's going to be really thankful that nobody was there to finish that one as the ball sailed over him. Now Hunter unable to get it forward, unable to play it over the top. Of, I believe it was boxes that got it. Now Crispy, good aggression here, but no boost to speak of. Sustain, able to keep that going. And now Hunter once more playing it forward, but Sustain, there was that boost. What remained of it, using it up to go ahead and take control of the ball, falling kind of loosely towards the net. That's gonna allow a rebound. Oh my God, Hunter from, from way back. It looked like he was in front of that ball. Let's see the replay. Crispy dinks it forward, boxes off the top of his car and Hunter, oh no just barely just inches if he gets that wheel up across that line a second sooner he's able to clear it just by the tip of his car but uh, very unfortunate there it's now dungeon just hogging all the boost in the middle and being very aggressive two to nothing and they want more two minutes 45 seconds to go murray state with their backs against the wall this is when you need the support and the love you know spread it in chat and i guess if you're a falcons fan you know go ahead and get it in there as well murray state really being aggressive here dungeon is clearing it forward no control on it hunter can be there it is off the corner can murray state finish no crispy gets the demo but not the ball Jax does keep it alive but dungeon once more in the air with plenty of boost left over as the ball is on the right hand side he lurks on the left now has to rotate back box is being bullied as crispy pushes forward hunter keeping it alive as well dungeon now on the defensive duties playing it in the air on the left hand side into the path of crispy no over him hunter returning the favor and here they go again falcons charging the racers net hunter trying to get it out able to dribble able to keep it alive dungeon just the ball flying over him but able to stay with it the pace is there crispy towards the net boxes as well on the right now the falcons transitioning to attack this is a great sequence of play and this is great Rocket League action right here. Uh, both teams back and forth, despite the 2-0 scoreline. Now, the pace of this game, this is much more even. This is much more enjoyable. But as soon as I say that, Sustain coming in with almost a nasty shot. And there he is again. Dungeon, 3-0. to zero. Are we headed for another three shots? Or another three goals, four shots situation from Dungeon for three games in a row? Are we gonna? Are we going to really have that? <laughs> We'll have to wait and see. I mean, plenty of time for it. A minute 30 on the clock in Murray State. It looks very likely that they're heading for their second straight loss in the NECC. A disappointing start to the season of what looked to be uh, full of promise and uh, you know exciting times. Murray State really having a tough time, having two brilliant starts so far in the NECC, but unable to keep it going. Their opponents coming to life after the first game and once again sustain is there keeping it alive. A perfect name for that style of player who's always able to keep it there and literally sustain the play. Now Dungeon, he's just going to walk it in like Arsenal, but it does hit off to the side and oh, a little bit of a maybe a, an ego shot there. Just trying to zoom in on the ball and slam it home, but unable to do so. Box is lobbing forward. Dungeon just thinking off the top right to sustain. Good passing play. Unfortunately, unable to shoot as Crispy pushes it forward. Boxes to sustain. It's open. Box is trying to finish, but unable to do so. Sustain keeps it alive once more into the path of Dungeon. Murray State is committed. Bodies forward. They have to. 30 seconds remaining, and all hope is being thrown at these shots. Crispy, what can he do here? Unfortunately, nothing. Dungeon just runs right into it. Murray State looks defeated. 17 seconds remaining. It would be an absolute miracle with sustain at their end, though. That's going to be it. 10 seconds remaining, and Murray State is going to lose their second straight NECC game this semester. Looks like it's going to be a 3 to nothing scoreline as the ball is about to fall on the floor. Murray State trying to keep it alive for the pride. Wants to, they want to get one final goal, and the Falcons, I have to admire this. They're not going to kill it either. The Falcons want to go for a fourth. I love this. 
This is great spirit by both teams. You really don't want to see him quit and just give up. Sustain is going for the goal. They're going to love it. Falcons fans in chat, if you're there, throw it up for your team. What? Love the mentality. Love the aggression. Four to nothing. The Fanshawe Falcons take the game this evening. Three to one over Murray State. And whew, as soon as we started, we're done, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you guys very much for tuning in. Uh, this evening for joining us my name is woogie thank you to flop filth running for running the production and you know i'll say it once more thanks to our sponsors fox ridge computers wknt Ariston networks we thank you so much for everything and thank you to all our viewers out there thank you for following for subscribing uh check out our social media below spread spread the word if you like the production here uh, if you like all the effort flav is putting into these replays and the overlays if you like the casting that you're hearing here if you like the teams and the personalities guys please you know share it out let people know about us uh as we continue to grow and thank you again everybody for tuning in uh, my name is woogie uh y'all have a great night